Hi, everybody. It's Angel Tabor, and I am going to show you little volume so you don't hear me echoing. I wanted, I was going to be here early, and then my camera wouldn't work, and I had to um, mess with that for a while, and everything set up, and my computer camera was not showing my picture, but I got figured out. Here I am. I want to let you know that today is the third Thursday in September. That means we are doing a Christmas card using the featured stamp set for the month, translucent florals. So I have that here, and I have a Christmas stamp set to do the Sunday. And um, just to let you know, I will be having a mystery host party next Thursday evening will be the live event on my Facebook group, in my Facebook group. So if you're not already part of that, you probably want to jump on there. And also, I will be sending out an email link in this week's newsletter. So uh, if you're not on my email list, you definitely want to make sure you're part of that as well. And exciting news about the email list, starting October 3rd, there will be the 12 weeks of Christmas. And every week between October 3rd and Christmas, my email list will be getting an exclusive PDF tutorial of a Christmas-themed project. All right, let me get you pointed down, and we're going to get started creating. Actually, I just have to switch cameras. And I'm going to go over here and turn the chat on in case anybody happens to be here live and wants to chat. Okay, we are using Transless of Florals, and I'm going to set that aside because I got out the stamps we are using for there, and they are already on the stamp blocks. We are also going to use Hope and Peace which is available as an online exclusive this year. I will be using that for the sentiment after a bit. I have a piece of Mossy Meadow cardstock, eight and a half by 11 cut in half horizontally, and then fold it in half. So it makes a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. Folded, it's cut in half at five and a half inches. Set that aside. A strip of pebble path color, Benjamin label. He has a couple of pieces of basic white, one to four or five diamond quarter for the inside of the card, and one cut. Four and a half by three and a half for our outside panel. And then I have a piece of St. Nicholas from the College Rock. This is one of the online exclusive DSP. And it is called Traditions of St. And it is cut at um, four by five, maybe. I'm not even four and a half. Yeah, let's, let's measure it because I forgot. But how does the number feel that I forget some of the measurements? 
this one is three and a half by four and a half, which makes this little one a three by four. Yes, that's it. Three and a half by four and a half inches and three by four inches. So I have scraps of very uh, basic white and the so we're going to do some cutting, die cutting first with the mini cut boss machine. Move my e pads out of the way. And we're going to do um, something a little different here in a minute. But first, we're going to cut a couple of the leaf bundle image from the vellum and also from the book. And I always turn it through the same direction. I'm not sure why that's the way we were told to do it, but it is. So I'm just following directions. Something about um, the warping of And it keeps falling out, so I have to get it all. There we go. Up to the right direction so I can put it back on. There's my two film with bundles. And now it's time to make a couple with the basic. Now, I'm going to do something that is optional when you're making this part of everything is optional. But I just like to do it because I think it adds really interesting extra texture. But if you don't have white ink or you just but don't want to do it, you don't have to. I'm going to add the stamp 
to these um, leaf bundles. Give it just a little added texture. You can see the veining on the stamp somewhat when you do this. I'm going to just line up my stamp, my paper on my stamp, just like that. Then pop it off. And I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm sure the light is shining on it well enough to give you a bit of a glow, but you can see the veining of the leaves. So that's why I did this. It just gives it an extra layer of texture and interest. And again, I am just going to lay that on there and Push and then pull off. And again, we can see our little veining and our leaves. And the leaf is there to dry. I'm going to my cleaning to clean off that spot. Do the rest of our stamping and then put this together. Okay, on our smaller basic white piece, we are going to stamp some of the smallest flowers from the Transus of Floral stamp set using the stamp off technique, which means I'm going to stamp one at full strength and then another one. And finally, the third one. I'm going to do it on both corners. Clean off the stamp on the chamois. I'm going to leave it that. No, I don't think I'm going to use that. I'm going to use gold olive on the inside of the card. Now, we're making a horizontal card today. I generally make a vertical card, so I have to remind myself to stamp it in the appropriate direction. And I'm going to, I don't want to go through, so I'm going to stamp once there and then stamp on the edge of the cloth. I shamming and clean that off. And then grab my Christmas sentence. I know what I'm using on the front. So what do I want to put on the inside? I think I want peace on earth, goodwill to men. 
probably will go ahead and do that with real red. He's on our goodwill tour. Got the shamey again. Put that away and grab the front of that word stamping and heat embossing on the front of our card. That is Merry Christmas. All right, let me put these inks all of the way for now. Here. They're not in the way of my heat embossing station. And then I'll grab my heat embossing tray. And my couple half strip of paper. We use my embossing buddy on that to just decrease some of the static. I'm using the verse mark to stamp this Merry Christmas sentiment. Well, I'm going to pick this up with my crackers tweezers. They also come with the embossing accessories set, the tray, the tweezers, and a little brush, and an embossing button. Okay. I'm just going to do that. The one embossing gather over it. And I don't see any um, extra that has to be brushed off, so that's good. But I am going to try to brush some of this that I spilled into the tray. So that we can get back in the container. Oh, we can use our white over and over and over again. All right, now it's time to heat a box. So we're going to watch the magic. Good thing
I don't know if you saw that magic, but it changed to an embossed image. Pretty cool. Okay. And now we're going to trim that and then put our curve all together. Take some glue and glue the inside of the card. I knew this was getting low, but I thought I still had enough to do today's card. Let me just see if I have another one with me. I do, but I'm not going to have most of the work. Uh, that's much better. Put that on there on the inside. Now, next, you want to lay out your papers based on how you want them. Before you actually glue anything down. Yeah, that I'm going to try to put a little bit of glue on the four corners so this glue isn't helping me anymore either. So we'll just do it and see what happens. Okay. Good thing I'm not using glue anymore for this project, we are going to grab the blue dots. And we are going to put our leaves together as a bundle. We start with um, vellum in the back, and then White, and then vellum, and then white. And I do not want to pick up my cute little blue dot. And we want to end them off just a bit because we want to see that they're 
have several bunches of the leaves. And I wanted to end with the white one on top because we added that extra, the white ink on there, which adds some dimension. And you can see the veining of the leaves. And I don't want that hidden. Well, I thought I grabbed a glue dot. There it still is. Said I was done with glue, but I'm not. Let's see if I can get a little more. Put some right here. And it's not working for me either. So I might just be done with glue um, because I can get into one of them. But I hate myself. Looks like it's time for me to make another holder that will hold my glue upside down. All right, going to use a glue dot and attach it right about there, and then we will be adding a little bow that I already have cut and tied. This is out of white baker's twine. Right at the top. So it looks like a bundle that is tied together. And finally, Grab my Merry Christmas and then put some dimensionals on that. I have my mini dimensionals right here. And we're just going to stick my Christmas right there. So here we have today's Christmas card using translucent florals. We have a bundle of the die cut leaves out of that set. You open it up and there's another leaf stamped on the inside and little flowers on the other part of the card. I hope you enjoyed this. Come back next Thursday at 2 o'clock, and we will be doing our final card with September's featured stamp set, Translucent Florals. See you then.